Hi, my name is Alan Markia. I'm a teacher here at Cochrane Elementary. Before becoming a part of the education world, I have spent 16 years in the business world in manufacturing. During that time, I had been a manager, a supervisor, and even a plant operations manager. I've had the opportunity to work in different capacities throughout all of manufacturing. With my background in business, it really gave me an opportunity to bring that to the education world. I wanted to be able to share my experiences with managing, supervising, and uh, my experiences with working with my children at to a school so I could help children grow. I thought that would be a great fit for me at that time. So it really gave me a chance to bring all my experiences from the business world and my experiences at home with my children into an environment where I felt that I could really make a difference. In the business world you work a lot with products and the work that you do um, isn't near as fulfilling as it would be when you're actually watching and helping children grow. It makes a huge difference internally uh, where you can watch and see children grow every day, every week, and from the beginning of the school to the end of the school, it makes a huge difference, and that's really what I wanted to do. So the SAM position gave me an opportunity to enter into the school uh, to make that happen. Uh, after I received the SAM position, I knew it was from a grant, so it gave me, uh, I had to know that if at, after three years the grant was going to be up. When the grant was up, I wasn't sure if I was even going to have a job. So I, I also thought that I, I knew that what I wanted to do and one of my dreams was, is to teach. So I enrolled in school to get my certification. And I was fortunate enough to be able to complete that in a couple years while I was being, while I was a SAM in the school. During that time, I had learned so much in being able to apply my business background into the SAM position, able to apply my supervisory skills, my uh, management skills, and very, and most importantly, my ability to take current processes in the business world and apply them in the education world being able to manage a budget, being able to schedule, all of, those, all of those things that you would want to be able to do in the education world that came from, that I was able to apply to from the business world. As a SAM, I had the opportunity to work with teachers, work with the administration, and then work with children on a much smaller scale. And being in a school to get, to be able to grow and learn how a school works and be able to see the big picture between the district, the school, the community, the, the people inside the school, the teachers and the children and how that interacts well was a great growth opportunity for me. It really helped me then to take those pieces and bring them into the, into the classroom. Where I looked at things as a SAM in working with the principal, my main role and job was to help the principal make sure that they were going to spend their time on instructional activity, which allowed them to be able to make the biggest impact to the school. And in order to do that, I had to step back and really think about what was the best way to do that. And to do that, we had to break things down into smaller pieces, and we had to use a tool to help us figure that out. At one time, after about six months into the SAM position, we had thought we were making great progress. When we actually started collecting data, we found that we weren't making that much progress at all. And so what we knew we needed to do was we needed to start collecting data on a regular basis to monitor how we were doing across and how we were making changes to instruction. As a SAM, one of the best things that, that I could do as a SAM working with the principal is to help them see how they were doing on the instructional side. And one of the ways in which we were able to do that is through collecting data. We would collect data on their whole day's worth of activities and what they were doing. By doing that, we were able to see how they were moving from non-instruction to instructional activities. And that allowed us to be of the track and monitor on a daily basis. So we had immediate feedback on how the principal was doing. While this was very difficult using data, what we realized is we needed to set some goals. We needed to identify where we wanted to be at the end of the year and then back into 
where we wanted to be each month and every each week and then eventually each day so that we could see the progress that we were making. And as we did that, we started coming up with ideas on how we could make that transition happen. So we started using and scheduling, using scheduling tools to help the principal schedule their time. So far we got All of this scheduled. took place over well, a period of time, and it becomes very difficult and challenging when other things happen across the day to take your time as a principal away from your work when you need to be in a classroom or could be working with teachers. What I think would be helpful to Sam's, now that I'm a teacher, is understanding that every minute to a teacher is invaluable. Every second when a copier is broken or the school isn't clean or the bathrooms need paper towels, that means the world to a teacher. And working with 24 children every single day Having those kind of things come up are distractions. My advice is to take everything that you could do to make sure that school is running as smoothly as possible and anything that gets in the way of instructional learning is impacting teachers' abilities to make sure children are getting the knowledge that they need to get. To be honest, after teaching for 10 days, I wanted to go back to being a Sam. Um, I, as a teacher, I was, uh, after five days, I did what every first year teacher normally does. I went home and cried every single day. I went home and couldn't believe that I was going to be able to make it till the end of the year. And now today, here I sit and I'm very excited about the possibilities and the growth that my students have taken on over the last several months. If I went back to being a Sam, I, th I think that I would be a much better Sam than I was the first time around. I think I would still have the basic approach to helping the principal manage their time and helping them become more effective on instruction. But I think as a teacher now, I know more about the things that impact teachers on a daily basis and how I could help that principal make those transitions over time. I think I would be able to help them through giving them more advice and help them with ideas and thoughts that they may or may not be thinking about. And also give me an opportunity to brainstorm with them and probably have an increased or improved relationship with teachers throughout the whole school. I think SAMS and schools are one of the best movements that I have seen in the education world that I've been a part of. And the reason I feel that way is it really gives the principal an opportunity to work with the teachers and the community and the children in the school on a different level. I love the fact that our principal, Lorraine Cunningham, gets to come in and see me teach and help me with it by giving me feedback, gets to know my children by first name, other than just seeing them come off the bus. I can't tell you how helpful it is that I've been to her office to be able to ask her to come to my room and see me teach and help me because I'm ready to pull my hair out. So with that opportunity and having her be able to come to do that and share with me and give me perspective and help me grow, that to me is an invaluable experience that I otherwise would not be able to get. To all you Sams and principals who are working hard every single day, I just want to offer a couple things to think about. While this is a very challenging process for all of you, think of it in very small steps. Don't try to go from 0% instruction to 100% instruction. Think of it as, where do I want to be in the next week? I want to grow by 5%. If that's what you want to do, then what is it that you want to do on an instructional level that's going to help you grow by 5%? The second thing is, there is nothing like persistence. Being persistent and knowing that this is going to make a difference in your schools every single day. We often get caught up in trying to help people through taking on behavior issues. Where most people, when you talk to them, they'll tell you that the behavior issues in their school are only 5% or 10% of the kids in the whole school. Well, what if you could really spend your time and reach the 90% of the kids instead of the 10%? What a difference you could make by reaching that 90% through your teachers, through your community, through your assistants, through yourself, and making and helping all of that work more effectively for those students. 
that 90% deserves all your attention. And the last thing that I would, I would like to share with you is your relationship together is most key. The trust that you build and the work that you do together is going to help you make that school move. The work that you two do together will be seen across the whole school and how you take that and then meld that in with the school and driving the culture to make a difference throughout the school is going to be seen and be heard throughout all those students. And let's just keep in mind we're all here for the students. Good luck everybody. Thanks for letting me be a part of this and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time.